Hello, this is Scott and I'm the Wandering ASV and today uh, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about the water canvas that I was talking about in, in a previous video. Um, I've got my piece, I decided to use a canvas board and this is a 14 by 18. Um, it's the only one I have so I'll use it just to show you what I was talking about as far as the water canvas. Um, you want to set up something um, you can use an easel. Sometimes I use the floor. You want something on the floor here. Uh, you can see I've got an uh, old uh, towel uh, hanging out there. Um, because when you put the water on the canvas, it's going to run all over the place and paint's going to fall. And you, you know, if you want it on your floor, fine. But uh, I like to have the rug um, towel. So I've got some things set up. I decided to use blue and green, and you can see I've got the colors blue and green. And then today I'll use a couple of different brushes. I might use the sponge, um, but I also have a, a old rag that I use. I'll show you in a moment how I'm going to use that. Um, but I'm not going to use any of my other paint brushes or pans. Just what I got here laid out. So. You start out by taking the water here, and you can spray you can spray the entire canvas down. Um, the nice thing about this is when, once you put it on there, the water is really going to dictate where the paint is going to go. And you put your paint on the roller, and you start you can start anywhere. I always go the long way. You can turn it this way, um, and I may turn it later. But you apply it up, up on top, and you can see it's not going to go on thick. It's going to be very, uh, very porous looking. Um, and the more paint you put on, obviously it, it can run. Um, we'll try to get it to run, but maybe not. Um, you can encourage running by spraying on a little bit more. And I kind of like that because it makes it look kind of dreamy, uh, watery. I, I kind of like that stuff and I like how it, it every time I do this it, it's a different effect. So um, you can see it is running down and, and that's fine. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, I'm not looking to make any certain design here. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit more. Uh, it can go all over. I'm not crazy about brush strokes being in a, in a certain direction or anything um, so my emotions and stuff are not exactly the same either so it's kind of nice to get a little bit of uh, freedom here in movement but I can spray this down again and uh, if you have a hair dryer available you can you can blow the, the hair dryer on there and makes all different kinds of um, creations with that, but uh, I, I only have one right now and I'm not going to buy one just for that. Um, so I put a little bit more on here. We can make it all sorts of different directions. I don't think once you put the water on there, no matter what direction you go, uh, it's really not going to make much of a difference. So I'll water this down again. And you can kind of start to see like a blending effect. Um, you get different designs in the canvas and, and I kind of like that. Um, you can look and maybe see something different every time you look at it. Now, the raid that I was talking about, this is well used. Um, I don't wash it. It really doesn't make much of a difference. I like it stiff. And this, this gives it kind of a texture. You can, you can place this on here. Now you can see um, kind of a, a ghosting effect. There's, there's a lot of spaces that are wider. Obviously, um, you may not see it on, on the tablet, and I apologize. Um, but you, it, it, it makes designs in the background, like texture designs. And I, yeah, I kind of like that. It, it's, a, it's an unusual uh, look to it. Um, and I'm going to leave this um, dry for a moment, so I will be back shortly. Okay, I'm back. 
and I don't fully let it dry. What I did is I, I, I used a, a little portable fan that I have, and I, and I kind of break up the process. Um, otherwise, if I don't use the fan, I'll leave it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes to let it really kind of dry out. I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see. Um, it's got some character already to it, and uh, I dig it this way. So um, what I'm doing now is I'm going to turn the canvas the opposite way, and I'm going to apply the other color. I chose, um, we've got festive green. The blue is, is a bright blue, um, and I use the smaller tubes. Um, I'm going to have to go pick up some more anyway. So I used this roller, um, I don't know if that's probably an inch and a half. Um, now on the other one, I'm going to use a little bit bigger roller, this I believe, let's see, about two inches. And yes, I'm going to put water on there, but only after I apply the paint. So I'll put the, I'll put the paint on the roller, get that in there, okay. And then I'll, I'll apply it up on top just like I did before. And I'll put a little bit more here, probably a little bit heavier. And I'll water it again. And this time now the green will run down through the blue. And I'll lighten this up so it doesn't look like one big splotch of green up on top. But now, I'll, okay, there you go. Now it's starting to. And I, I kind of like the uh, how it runs down. We'll, we'll uh, clean this up a little bit later. Um, okay. So now you got <clears throat> you got the blue and the green. Blue and blue and green. I do believe makes yellow. <laughs> um, but I'm not looking to make a certain uh, color pattern today. I just wanted to show you the technique. But Actually, this color, this is kind of matching my mood right now. I am doing pretty good. I, I've, I've had a pretty good day so far, and, and, and things are going well. And things usually go well anyway. Uh, but when I paint, um, it always I'm kind of particular about my kind of painting. I usually tend to... I uh, have music playing in the background, uh, classical music of, of some kind, um, kind of sets the mood. Uh, I'm in very comfortable clothes. I like to wear my Chuck Taylors. I'm very uh, specific when it comes to, to my painting. Um, try to take this piece off. Sometimes the, uh, there you go, there's a little piece of hair there from another paintbrush. But, this again is the scratchy rig, and, and you can go, I can actually detail it a little bit more. I'll make, I'll make circular patterns to give it kind of a cool looking texture. But right now, um, camera is here, I'll bring it up close. You can see it's, you can see it's kind of run together. We have, uh, we have green up here, and we, oops, sorry, we have blue down here kind of blends together. It has a very unique uh, canvas look at, uh, to, to it. Um, and I'm going to leave this set sideways so it can dry. But that's pretty much going to be it for for this. Uh, and I'll probably put this on my wall. Um, it might even go up for sale. I don't, I, I don't know. I might just keep it because I'm, I'm kind of liking it. But that kind of gives you an idea of how to use water. Um, I like to fill this up and leave it sit for a couple of days. Uh, I found that hot water, cold water, it, it has different effects. Um, this is room temperature for, for a few days. It works a lot better. Um, and once again, you can you can use this. You can actually, um, instead of spraying the canvas down right away, you could put paint on there and do it, or you can spray the canvas down. It's really your choice, but it gives you a lot of different um, character to the canvas, uh, textures, features that you might not normally get if you just put paint on it. So uh, thank you for watching and please like and comment or subscribe to my channel. Thank you.